Always low, low prices at Pahrump Valley Auto Plaza. Hello, sports fans. In a strange and unfamiliar week for the Las Vegas Golden Knights, Monday's trade deadline yielded nothing. The Silver Knights are falling out of playoff contention. Green Bay quarterback Aaron Rodgers sent all-pro receiver Devontae Adams on a long route, and now he's in Vegas. And the Bishop Gorman girls softball team is dominating the 4A. I'm Doug Ferber. The Las Vegas Golden Knights have had a long week. Monday losing to Minnesota 3 to nothing. Then on Tuesday being shut out for the second straight night, 4 to nothing in Winnipeg. Monday was the trade deadline and the VGK was looking to make room within the salary cap to bring back some of its injured stars like Captain Mark Stone. So they traded Evgeny Dadanoff to Anaheim. Yesterday the NHL stepped in and canceled the trade because Dadanoff's contract had a no trade clause to 10 specific teams, including Anaheim. As the Golden Knights finish out their season with only 16 games to play and trail the Dallas Stars in the wildcard race by a point, Dadnoff, who has been the VGK's best scorer for the past few weeks, is slated to be back on the ice tonight when the VGK hosts the Nashville Predators at 7 p.m. The deeply depleted Henderson Silver Knights were beaten by the San Diego Gulls Tuesday night for the third time in a week by a score of three to one. With all the injuries on the Golden Knights, several key Silver Knight players are helping out their parent club, including goalie Logan Thompson. The Silver Knights are now on the playoff cusp with 11 games to play. They host Tucson Friday night and Saturday afternoon at the Orleans Arena, then go on the road before debuting at the Dollar Loan Center on April 2nd, hosting Bakersfield. The Las Vegas Raiders traded for all-pro receiver Devontae Adams earlier this week in exchange for a first-round pick and a player to be named later with the Packers. Adams, a lifetime Raider fan and college teammate of quarterback Derek Carr, said he's excited. You know, I grew up in East Palo Alto, so being, I was a Raiders fan my whole life, so it is a dream to be a Raider, man. So it's a, it's a it's dream come true. Um, in the third grade yearbook, I said I wanted to be a you know an NFL star or an NBA star, and I was wearing a, a Charles Woodson jersey at the time. So it's been documented forever. So you know I, could, I guess you could say it's meant to be. The defending Nevada State 4A softball champions Bishop Gorman of Las Vegas may be the favorite again to win the state title this year, thanks to the strong pitching of senior Riley Pindell. The senior is 5-0 this season and was the winning pitcher as a junior in the state 4A championship game last spring. If Pindell's numbers don't intimidate you, her 6'2 stature might. So far this season, Pindell has pitched 45 innings, allowing 5 earned runs while striking out 52 as the Gales are off to an 11-4 start and ranked number 1 in the state 4A. Coach Kevin Smith, in his 16th year as Bishop Gorman softball coach, has seen Pindell develop. She is... Beyond a competitor, wants the ball every every time. She wants to pitch every practice. She's just a gamer, but she's also just fun-loving kid and all that good stuff. So, Pendell has a full-ride scholarship to Southern Illinois University in Edwardsville, waiting for her after high school. Uh, I was offered in September after I went to their camp, and I fell in love with the school. It was like perfect match with the coaches and everything. I love the players and. Yeah, it was just a great experience. I loved it right when I got on campus. Pendell didn't pitch yesterday as her teammates easily beat Bonanza High 17 to nothing at home. But if all goes according to plan, Pendell will be on the hill in this year's state championship game again in late May. For KPVM 25 TV Sports, I'm Doug Ferber.